Greg Klima, American songwriter. Greetings from Holland, New York. It's August the 9th, 2022, and uh, I'm wondering, are you on my email list? I'll follow up on that question at the end of this video. I just got done with two months of touring. I played a bunch of shows in Illinois, and then I made my way through Missouri up to Lawrence, Kansas. Had a date in Pomeroy, Iowa before going to the Montrose Music Festival. Along the way, I was streaming twitch.tv slash socialclima is my channel. I was streaming on my Twitch channel, and a couple of different times I got to collaborate with friends. When I was in Lawrence, Kansas, I played some music with Old Fangled, and then when I was in Montrose, South Dakota, I was crashing in the same space as Matt Harlan, Terry Klein, and Charlie Roth. Got to play music with all those guys. Here's a couple of highlights. There it is, it's live. Is that St. Anne? Yeah. We played the other night, didn't we? Keep we going. Good. We should have switched it up. Wild play. It's, it's one of the few that I know. Let's play sand. <laughs> well, hello there, Magdalena. time for me to change the strings on this, but I'm going to see if I can get through tomorrow night's gig. Yeah, I'll change them before I go to the festival in Montrose. Go. Good idea. Yeah. Keep, then it'll be home stretch. One, two, one, two, three. Footprints in the 
took the West Like the devil takes a lover A treasure chest Worth its weight in sand Progress is the word we use For all that we discover Discovery is just stumbling across The thing that's always been Oh, once upon a time In this land there walked a giant Town and Cat Ringle Semicolons. Thank you for the subs. And I do have the, the request list closed, but you know, I'm happy to play a song for you by request if you got one. Susie, what do you want to hear? I know a couple of your favorites off the top of my off the top of my head. I would I would say Roll Me Away or Goodbye Louisiana. Uh, those are the first two that come to mind, actually. But let me know. We can we can uh, we can place some requests for subs. The only reason why I have the, the the list closed, by the way, is because like I have 500 songs on my list, and together we know nah. 20 or 30. Yeah, and I can <laughs> so, fake a few. But. So, me pick. Okay. Um. Let's see. That wasn't Jocko. That wasn't Jocko. That was another. I'm, I'm going to teach a new song. All right. There's no chart for it. But uh, it's it's basically an A part and a B part. Let's call the chorus the A part and the verses are the B part. All right. And the uh, so I'm vamping on D, but we we really start on the G. Yeah. So that the form starts on G to B, and then two measures of A. song but the form pretty much starts on that G and the A B A B through the whole thing. Yeah. 
If I had a pipe string, I wouldn't even need to use my other hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have we run out. We, we, sell it, we, actually. We, we were at the Moccasin Creek Festival, and, and Doug, Dave, and their friend Paul all play, among other instruments, electric bass. And, and uh, I don't know the reasons why Doug and Paul in particular were geeking out, but one of the bands on stage had a five-string bass. And so they're just, Doug is just like geeking out with Paul, like, did you see the five-string bass? And do you think they got it tuned all in fifths? Or do you think they tuned that one thing to a, a, a B and then the other one to it? And so they're kind of geeking out on it. Dave walks up. Uh -huh. Doug and Paul have been debating, well, how would you tune your five-string bass? Would you tune it to a B or the, would you tune it to a C and then a whatever? And they're debating this. They're going back and forth about it when Dave walks up and Doug says, Dave, if you had a five-string bass, what would you do with it? Without missing a beat, his response was, sell it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it was instant Either that or take the B-string out. And then, I just, and then I just cried laughing. Well, Paul and I were just fantasizing. <laughs> yeah. We'd never, 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 yeah. We'd never be caught. You were like, yeah. what would you do with the fifth string? string? And he's basically. like, I would just sell it. <laughs> we'd get so many gigs, we would never show our face again. Oh, oh my my sweet only time. Jesus. I bet you get a one-string bass and do it pretty good. Oh, wait, I know a guy. Mm -hmm. Made yeah. a career out of it. We're there. D. I'll vamp on the D, we'll start on the G. Here we go. Goodbye. Joe, 
some folks are living the lives I've seen in my dreams. I dream all night and I live my life in the spaces in between. Goodbye. hearing it for the first Real. time ever. Yeah. Huh? I've been to Louisiana. Thank you for that sub, Susie Funtown. Thank you for that sub, Steam in Cleveland. Hey there, cats. You got? Do you have a request that we might play for you? Anything you can pick off the top of your head? Steam in Cleveland. I got the uh, I got the request list closed, but if there's something you know that I know how to play that maybe we can work up in this configuration, please make a request. I would love to thank you. For your, your subscription, six months. Cleveland Thank you for the support. <laughs> I'm famous. Because <laughs> Don Henley. That's right. <laughs> yeah, what, I, 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 I wrote I wrote a bunch of that stuff down yesterday. Uh, where is it? I can close the turn and run my way again. What was the, um, I think it was just like that kind of, right? Yeah, yeah that's kind of. Wish I could sing all the right notes in a really high voice that never goes flat. <laughs> Wish I could be in a band like Eagles, cause. Don Henley does stuff like that. Don Henley does stuff like that. Don Henley does stuff like that. I'd like to co-write a song with Mike Campbell and be in a band backing Linda Ronstadt. I'd like to have Stevie Nicks on my speed dial because Don Henley does stuff like that. 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 Wish I could see you standing in the sun with a dead head sticker on your Cadillac. Maybe we'll make it in the long run, baby, cause of Don Henley does stuff like that. Right? That's, that's where... But right around then, I broke my glasses. Man, you've played a song a couple of times now about uh, the, the teachers and then later in the verses, oh, it's yeah. the children wondering what is that we're hearing yeah, down yeah. the hall. Do you, would you be game to sing that one? Sure. <laughs> you you want to look right? There's, here's where the... Uh, Here's where the audience is. I see you. Yeah. I see you. I don't know why I'm wearing a hat. I know why, I know why I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no. this, is, this is Matt Farlin. Lives Hi. in Houston, Texas. How are you guys doing? I'm going to pick up a guitar and noodle all over his song. Please do. That's what I do. If you guys know That's guy. why I haven't played the song at Circles, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I knew I'd be distracted, and yeah. I'm still getting the lyrics straight oh, in my head. Yeah. And, like, I knew that if I was playing that, somebody just, oh, he's in B. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, I no, forgot what I was yeah, saying. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you shut that guy down when you did. Well, but it didn't seem to help. Huh. Yeah, it was polite. I thought it was polite. Yeah, I said, it was very respectful. It's a good way to do it. Oh, please, please don't. don't. Please don't. No, no please don't. This. And he was, he was cool about it. He was. That's that's wonderful. Yeah, no, that was a neat thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just need to establish some. Uh, the, I think the assumption at the song "Circle," in my experience with with uh, campfires, is it's cool to do this. 
until it's not. Right. You know, and I, I think I got plenty of songs that invite like, hey, this is a jam, it's a sing along, yeah. this is the <coughs> participation moment. Yeah. And then there's other times where it's like, I'm about to play a dynamic song yeah. that you've never heard before. Yeah. It's got a chord that changes after these first two chords. <laughs> so while you think hearing the first four bars of the you song know, has uh, established yeah, your... Right. But so, uh, not like know. Don Henley yeah. does stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. If I were that's playing a one chord band, everybody... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a good jam. That's right a good there. jam song, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The last song, not so much. And, and you should point that out. This is okay. This is not. This is a jam song. I mean, I did that with Baltic Avenue. That really worked out good. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that's doing that's the full horn have rules established, you know. But I could see me playing yeah, that Don Henley. You know, oh, I, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, because that's uh, what he. What, what are you gonna play? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna play? Uh, we, uh, what, what, what's the name of this one? Uh, it's, it's called a uh, uh, What We Saw. No. Yeah. Uh, I wrote it uh, after not writing a lot uh, for a minute. Uh, it was kind of like the first one to break that break that long streak. Because uh, you know, I, I felt as other people did, I think, you know, just like frozen in the moment of like, whoa, there's so much going on right now. Uh, it's like plenty to write about, but like, it's, it's almost like just like, Overload. You Plenty know. to write about, but too much to process. But too much, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and so that was that was exactly where I was. And then after this one, then it turned into uh, learning more about what to, what, how, to, how to pick it apart. And I'm like, okay, I'll try about this part of it and this part of it. And, but yeah. It's like Vegas in space the Stakes are so high Man, there's no time to waste All the darkness surrounding Punches all landing too low Cause we stepped off the edge Got lost in the crowd Found out it's not what you see But how loud, yeah, we ain't giving up Just settling in for the show Yeah, we're all standing
ruin y'all. If y'all are friends of Greg's, they evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, man. You know. You all have a flight to catch in Sioux Falls. Any, uh, any chance you want to dive in and play a song or two? I'll play it soon. Yeah. I would love to hear that. You have something you want to hear? You know what? I, I got my request for me around the campfire last night. Is there is there something I haven't heard you play yet that I ought to hear before you take off? Uh, you got one? You know what? It's a uh, it's it's a friendly audience. New folks is what do you want to play first? What do you, what's your uh, what's your hey? My name's Terry Klein. Here if you if if you only get to hear me play a song or two. Right. What, which song is that for you? Oh boy. <laughs> if this were the last song ever could you ever could your play. Whole life. You know that scene in I Walk the Line with Johnny Cash? Oh, yeah. Where, where he's trying to sing all these gospel songs at Sun Studio, and right. Sam Phillips right. is like, no, if, no. if this were the last song, you right. heard it playing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he plays Folsom Prison or something. Right, yeah. It's a dramatic scene. But it is, it is. But what's your Folsom Prison, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go the other direction and play a very weird one. Oh, uh, great. Well, Even better. guys, but it would be a lie. What I miss is being young. And I wish those guys could have gotten up and gotten out of bed today. But life is what you lose along the way. It's actually the only song I've ever written that didn't start as a song. You know, it started as a series of sentences I wrote in the in the notebook and realized that let's play one together. That there were, you know, realized there were eight parts to the verse. <laughs> there's there's more going on. Here, sit, sit right here. Get front and center. Well, this is more important, right? Greg. You can. Oh, I was I was moving it up for you. Yeah. Okay. Sit. So oh. We need to sit here. Sit here. Just, Okay. See that? Now you're centered on the thing. <laughs>
Well, his full name was Curtis Don Blazing. He lived in a small town in western Minnesota, May 3rd, 1956. His father's name was Arnold and everybody called him Arnie. His mother's name was Noreen. Kurt loved cool cars in high school. He had this 1965 red Pontiac Le Mans. And that thing could fly. Kurt loved cool guitars. His first one was an Alvarez copy, Gibbs and Doug. Never did sell that. In our first band, he played a Strat, Gibson Explorer. Rock steady rhythm here. I could not tell you all that I know. Man, that would take too long. Some of it was so long ago. Suffice to say, I could write a book about my best friend. Well, we crawled around in diapers on the first day we met. Yeah, I could hear us laughing, but I can't remember that. But I bet that we were racing, because we both loved going fast. And I could recount the time when we were nine, driving skinny wheels down steep hills. We stopped them with our red ball of jets. But before that busy street, going fast. And when we were 10, we built plywood guitars. Jumped around to records pretending we were rock stars. And I can tell you that when we were in our teens, we sold peace sign patches on our bell bottom jeans. When we were 14, we drank grain belt beer, smoked old golds down gravel roads. We found John Pryor and Reefer at the same time. John blew our minds. We went out and got real guitars. Town when we were 22. My old truck dead broke on gas fumes. We found those two beautiful girls. I was his best man, he was mine. Started our first band, man. Those were good times. Good times. Going fast. But I got the call today. My best friend Curtis is in the hospital. He's going fast. Well, they say that when you die, your whole life passes before your eyes. And I got that phone call. My whole life passed before mine. And I ain't cried like that. Right there, he's right there here in this song. No, he ain't sad. He's doing fine. Driving down gravel roads, smoking old gold, digging on some John Bright. Neil Young. Tom Petty, Joni Mitchell. It's going fast.
love that song. Thank you. So good. Great plan, too. Right? Pretty cool, right? That's the kind of stuff that happens on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash socialclima. And if you enjoyed that footage, I asked you a question earlier about whether or not you were on my email list. When you're on my email list, I send out a newsletter once a month, my old guitar and me. If you read all the way to the bottom of my newsletter, I often invite folks to send me an email and then I will reply to that email with a unlisted video link. Coming up in September of 2022, I have a sneaky suspicion that the unlisted video link that I share with you will be more of that jamming with Matt Harlan, Terry Klein, and Charlie Roth. Just, just a hunch. If, you, if you're not subscribed to me on my email list, uh, you go to climate.com, scroll to the bottom, sign up for emails. If you're not following me on Twitch, I invite you to consider doing that. I have a lot of fun. Twitch.tv slash social climate. If it's something you can do financially, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me have a sustainable career as a musician. I would appreciate the support. If you liked some of this video, check out this video. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe to Twitch. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you at the next show. Stay cool.